so first we need to install this package and since I have already installed this I'm going to go to the next step so we'll start with calling the library so if the package is already installed if we run this line we will not get any error next uh, we read a picture file so this is on my desktop it's called pic1.jpg and I'm going to store the first image in image 1 so this image is now red if you want to look at what it contains let me do this in the console area so you can see that it gives uh, us some information about the image and dimension for this is 4928 by 3264 by 3 so this is a multi-dimensional array and you can see that uh, this small table here shows us first five values for x first six values for y and first value for z if you uh, look at the dimension and multiply these three numbers the number you'll get is the number that you see here it has almost uh, more than 48 million elements so this table has 48 million data points if you like to see the image you can use command display and hit enter so you can see that the picture is displayed similarly we can read second image so to see second image I'm going to run this line so you can see second image here we'll do histogram for image 1 So you can see that uh, it gives us intensity values between 0 and 1 and we also see three colors red blue and green and number of values for each are also indicated so for example in this image we have more than 1.2 million data points which are slightly above 0.4 intensity so the values which are closer to 0 are darker and values which are higher lighter let's store this in a so we run this line let's print this so you can see that uh, by adding point 0.2 to each one of these values so instead of 0.81 we get 1.01 1 etc all these over 48 million data points are now increased by a value of 0.2 so let's see what effect it has on our image so this image is slightly lighter you can check this uh, by giving slightly higher value so instead of 0.2 if we have 0.4 you can see image becomes slightly brighter similarly if you want to make it dark let's store this in B so we subtract about 0.4 this image becomes darker if you make a histogram of uh, this recent uh, image B you'll see that these values will be shifted 
on the left. So you can see that, for example, this uh, blue peak is around, in fact, very close to zero now. Earlier it was close to 0.5. Similarly, peak for green is around 0.4 earlier it was around 0.8 everything is shifted by 0.4 so all these uh, 48 million plus pixels are now shifted uh, with the value which has the lower intensity so we'll store this in c and we'll use a function called combine where we are combining image 1 and image 2. So this is the first picture and this is the second picture. So these displays are now combined into one file. So let's store this in D. Please note that when we add the two numbers from image 1 and image 2, each of the pixels will have intensity which is on the higher side. And because of that, the combined image into 1 will look lighter. So let's run this. So you can see this uh, image is lighter. So let's divide this by 2 and probably keep this as it is. You can see now the second picture is more prominent compared to earlier picture that we had. If we divide this by 4, let's see what we get. So you can see second image is now more prominent and first one has become even further lighter. If you make a histogram for D, so you can see how intensities uh, change between 0 and about 1.2. If you look at, for example, red one, you see two peaks. So there's a smaller peak and there's a higher peak. Similarly, for green, there is a smaller peak and there is a higher peak. So all the three, red, blue and green are showing a bimodal pattern and these two modes come because of two images. Let's say if we change this and make this divided by four, if you look at the display, let's see, let's look at the picture. So you can see uh, first picture is very prominent whereas second one has faded and it is hardly visible. You can see the effect on this display. So you can see how contrast has changed. So we can do a smaller number and we can do a bigger number just to see how these two are different. Uh, we need to run these two, so let me do that. So this is with the 0.5 and let's see effect of 3. So you can see the effect. You can print image to see what has happened. So now the color mode has changed to grayscale. All other things are as it is. So you can see now we have a black and white picture. 
So this line will bring us back to color. And we'll use uh, from about 800 in the X dimension to let's say 2686. So remember, we can go up to as high as 4928. So I'm selecting a smaller number. And this, in the second case, we can go up to 3264. So let's say again from 800 to maybe around 2200. And then for Z, we want everything. So we'll just keep it uh, blank. So this is how you can see it has changed. Let's say we want to save this cropped image K. So I would say K and we can give a new name and run this line. And then if you search for this file, you can get this on from your computer and this is what it has saved. If you want to look at what this line has created, we can type low and run this. So because we have given a number 81, this is the 81 by 81 matrix uh, that it has generated with certain parameters. And then in the next row, we change low to low divided by sum of low. We can say that our image will be called image dot low. We are going to use filter, filter 2 which is for EBI image and we are going to apply this to our image, first image and the low values that we have calculated. We can also display this. So you can see due to the effect of uh, low pass filter, image is now slightly blurry. So let's run this line and store that information in high and for high Two, two, we are inputting a value of negative 8. So let's see what we get. So image dot, we'll call this image dot high. So now we can display this. So this is the effect of a high pass filter and we hardly see anything. Let's uh, make some changes. So instead of negative 8, let's make it negative 5. So we rerun 
these lines and display this again so you can see slightly different image now uh, let's see if we combine this with the original image what we get so I want to display this plus image 1 this seems to be slightly lighter than what we saw earlier so we can always play with the values here and get the desired output so I'm going to make this maybe divided by 4 and rerun so this seems to be slightly better and just for comparison if you want to see first image and this one I want to store this let's say in new and then combine image 1 and new to see how these two are different so we have the two pictures this is the original one and this is the new one let's try divided by 5 So this is original and this is based on dividing that high pass filter image by 5 and combining it uh, with original image.